Hello YouTubers, subscribers, and friends. Welcome to my channel, I Seek Out The Truth. Today I'm going to talk about this Toshiba laptop, satellite laptop. It's C655-S5512. And what's going on with this? I've had this for about two years. Uh, wife got it for me on my birthday. My birthday's getting ready to get here, so almost two years. It's stuck in the startup, Windows startup uh, logo. It won't do anything. And before anybody comments down below and says, well, you need to try this and try that. Well, I've tried so many different things uh, for the past week and a half, and nothing has worked. I've tried to uh, swipe it. It won't allow me to swipe it. So let me just show you what it, what it does here. Let me turn it on here and show you exactly what it's doing. Um, people said, use your uh, Windows 7 recovery disk. This says Windows 7 Home Edition, and uh, I don't have a Windows 7 recovery disk. I tried the Windows 8 recovery disk and it didn't work. It just, the disk spun and then shut down and stopped and didn't do anything after that. But this is what the, uh, my laptop does. It goes to the starting window and it stays like this. Before anybody tells me to leave it off for a couple hours, I've left this on 24 hours overnight and the next morning I woke up and it's still like this. And uh, I've tried to flash, flash, uh, not flash, to swipe it. Let me shut this off here and show you what I'm talking about. So I try to uh, swipe it by holding the zero and power button down. I'll show you. This is new. This is the first time this has popped up like this. Because it, it doesn't let me swipe it either. It says Windows Memory Diagnostic. It doesn't... I can't... Uh, nothing. Let's just hit enter and see what happens. That's the first time that's popped up on me. But yeah, it won't let me, allow me to swipe it, so can't even swipe it. It goes to the starting windows, and it's it just stays like that. Now, what I've done, uh, I've tried so many different things, and friends have told me to try different things, and uh, I even took the uh, hard drive out and let it sit overnight without it being in the hard drive. I tried to start it without the hard drive on; nothing happened. Um, what else I did is uh, I got this computer here. It used to be my wife's old computer. It's an e machine. It has Windows 7 starter on it. I've taken the hard drive out of this computer because this one works fine. I'll show you. I'll just, I'll just log on to the internet. This is what I use right now, but this thing is so slow. Watching videos on YouTube, it, it lags. As you can see, this gets on the internet, but it's a slow computer. I mean, my wife's had it for seven years, and... Uh, the earphone jack doesn't work. You plug the earphone jack in and you can't hear anything in the earphones only over the speakers here. So I, I had a friend tell me you should try another hard drive. So I took this hard drive out and it's an e-machine. As you can see right here it says e-machine. And I think it thought it was weird because even though it's a smaller uh, laptop and a different make and model, the uh, hard drive actually worked. It fit inside of here and fit perfectly and then when I turned it on turned on the computer with this e-machine hard drive it went to blue screen and showed a bunch of zero ones and then went to uh, uh, startup repair so I hit the startup repair and it ran through about 25 minutes and then they said the computer needs to shut down and I shut down the computer then I went, when I went to start it, it same thing like this so I mean, how, this, I mean this hard drive on this e-machine works perfectly fine and uh, it's still doing the same thing even with a different hard drive in it so I don't know what's going on uh, see it's startup windows I'll shut off here I can start it up in F2 but it won't start up in safe mode let's see just turn it on and push F2 show you I can start in safe mode but nothing in safe mode will work alright that started up differently Oh, I think F12 is safe mode. Oh, I tried different types of things on this also. They've gone to advance. Execute disable bit command. I've tried all these and hit enter and nothing happened. All it does is it goes back to the startup uh, window and it just freezes. Hit enter on all these and nothing's going on. I'm not a computer guy, so I really don't even know what I'm doing. But uh, let's exit that and it'll just go to the startup windows again. Which is uh, the 
problem I'm having. I mean, it won't it won't start up and uh, allow me to swipe it. I've swiped this computer three times in the two years that I've owned it and never had a problem. And it's always gone back to factory installation and worked perfectly fine after that. But yeah, like I said, it gets to this starting Windows thing here, and it just won't cooperate. So let's close this up. Let me start up an F12. Because I can go to safe mode and hit the enter to start up in safe mode, and it will just it will act like it's doing something, but then it will just it will just lock up. Now it won't even go to safe mode now. No matter what I try, it goes it does act like it's going to do something, and then it goes right back to the startup window startup logo, and it just it, it freezes and it stays like that. No matter what I try. Um, but I had a friend tell me, you know, if I get a new hard drive and put a new hard drive in there, I'm still going to have to get a, a Windows 7 recovery disk and load it to that new hard drive. I'm like, well, why do I want to spend all the money to do that if I don't know, even, even know if that's going to work? And that's before I tried this e-machine hard drive. So I tried the e-machine hard drive, still having problems. So I don't know. I don't think it's the hard drive. But um, if I was to go get a Windows 7 recovery disk, I don't even know if that will work. So I don't even know if investing money is that is even going to help me see it's still stuck in this starting windows logo but uh, like i said i'm not a computer guy and i, I want to take a sledgehammer and just smash this but my wife's like why don't you just put on e um, not ebay but craigslist and sell his parts and i said well maybe I, I don't know but it's just something about this i just want to see if i can fix it i mean i love this as windows 7 home edition i love windows 7 i got six other computers in the house it's not about getting a new computer like i got other friends tell me just buy a new computer I don't like Windows 8 and I don't like Windows 10. This computer right behind here, this one, my wife's new computer has Windows 10. I really don't like Windows 10 and I can't stand Windows 8. That's the reason why this is the only computer I have in my house that has Windows 7 and I love it other than this has Windows 7 starter. But it's so freaking slow. Watching uh, YouTube videos is really, really slow. That's why my wife hated it and wanted a new computer and that's why I got her a new one. Yeah, so if anybody's out there can tell me how to... Uh, fix this or if this is even fixable let's try f8 see what happens with f8 and that's usually what it does when I want to do a swipe it but it doesn't go to the swipe window this goes to safe mode see here's safe mode let's hit enter this is what it'll do. It'll do that and then it'll freeze and it won't do anything after that. I've left this on for five hours like this and came back five hours later and to see if it was do anything, nothing. It just stays like this. So, I mean, I don't know what's going on with that. Because it says, please wait. So I waited, like I said, five hours. I went to town, went walking around with the mall, with my family and stuff and came home hoping that something had changed and it still looked exactly like this nothing changed whatsoever so I turned hit the power button shut it off and tried to restart it and it went back to the Windows logo starting thing and just froze on that so uh, I went I've checked all the YouTube videos on Windows startup logo freeze and I've tried everything that there's on there but uh, I don't know maybe if somebody else has the same problem maybe they know something different that I can try or if it's even worth repairing uh, I took it to a, a, a shop, a last computer I had a problem with, they want $150 to repair it. And I'm like, man, that kind of money to repair it, I could just get a different computer. And that's how I got this computer. My wife went out and bought me a whole new computer. But, uh, yep, yeah, that's what's going on. This will never change. It'll stay like this, like I said. So if anybody knows, leave a comment down below. Thanks for taking the time to watch my videos. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't call us on it. It's free. I'm going. Get, get, get going.